Hello everybody and welcome to the latest episode of Ship Views with me, Carburetor. Today we are going to be looking at some, specifically the Tier 6 German U69 and what my problems with these ships are. So let's start this off the bat. Subs are the new protected class in World of Warships. Now what do I mean by that? Originally, CVs were very much the protected class of, of, of ships. As soon as AA was doing too much damage, they nerfed it. And even with the commander re or with the uh, CV rework that's like three or four years old now, holy crap, I've been playing this game way too long. I still remember when it was the US and Japs, holy cow. Um, the, the CV rework really showed that they wanted to baby these things, that they wanted to baby the aircraft carriers. Because to tell the truth, they don't belong in a surface combat uh, game software. And they're trying to to cram that square peg into a round hole. Well, with subs, they're trying to cram a round hole into a square or a round peg into a square hole. I almost got that mixed up there. These subs are so game breaking; they are pushing people away from this game. Actually, I had somebody message me. One of the battleship players that I nuked in this game messaged me and said, thank you for solving this issue for me. I now know that I'm no longer going to be playing this game. I'm uninstalling it. Thank you for making that clear. And I was just like, dude, I'm sorry. And here's the thing is I'm not that great of a player with subs. I think this was my third battle in the U69. Maybe my sixth battle total with, with subs in general. And I'm going to be top of the tier do like 120k damage, kill four ships, almost, if I had enough time, get the fifth. I would have gotten the fifth and gotten a Kraken in this thing. And that's just not fair. Now, I will say this, with these ships, it's either feast or famine. You either do really, really good or really, really bad. You're either top of your of your team or you're bottom of the, your team. You either do 10,000 damage or you do 100,000 damage. There's really no in between. And if there is, it's more of a fluke than anything. So what do I mean by these are a protected class? So I talked about CVs. How are these a protected class? Think about it. They just got rid of friendly fire. Why? Why? We've been complaining about friendly fire for years. I remember one of my very first battles in the Bismarck when the German tech tree was first released. My secondaries happened to nick. Nick, not hit, Nick, one of my friendly players, and happened to set him on fire. I know it was my secondaries because I was shooting AP out of my main battery, so I did not have HE loaded. I could not have fired at my teammate and set him on fire. My secondary set him on fire, killed him, and I was pink for like six games. This is back before the pink rework. And back then, if you so much as got like a scratch in game from one of your players, if you bumped one of your fellow players in game, it would reset and you had to do six battles all over again. So people, believe it or not, it, trolls would come over, bump you, reset you, and you were done. And it was like, holy cow. Why do you think they changed it? Why do you think it's no longer they, they no longer have friendly fire? Subs. Subs are the answer because they didn't want people running over the top of them, dropping depth charges and killing them. They need to protect their little baby and prevent it from from floundering, prevent it from, you know, becoming a a failure, which in my opinion it already is. Now it's easy to critique let me give some examples of what I would do to fix these things. The very first thing I would do is surface detect. The, the U.S. subs in general, I think, but I know the Tier 6, the U.S. subs have a massive surface detect rate of like 6.8, 6.9. It's massive. There's no reason a sub, which is supposed to be fluid dynamic, have a low profile and sits very low in the water, would have a massive surface attack range. There's none. I would change it so that it's about, let's just say four kilometer surface attack range. You know, maybe maybe the Germans can be 3.9, maybe the Americans can be 4.5. But I would have like a four kilometer surface attack range. 
Okay, well that seems like you're you're buffing it. That doesn't seem like you're nerfing it. Hang on, I'm not done. The next thing I would change is when they're underwater, change how long they can be underwater. I would keep it very, very, very short. I like the battery recharge thing. Before they had the air capacity thing and you could literally pop up to periscope depth, fill your air in like 30 seconds, you have five minutes to spend underwater, you dive down, you're untouchable again for another five minutes. That was stupid. I like what they've done here with the battery where you have to recharge it. Let's just say, just for shits and kicks, that you have a five minute battery. If you're running at full tilt underwater, full throttle underwater, I would give it, a, you know, I would have it so that you, um, your battery cuts in half. Now, why am I saying that? Well, if you think back to the movie Red October, when they lost their, their reactor, they, they, asked how long they had on battery four hours six if we're cautious so in other words they had four hours if they were reckless six hours if they could slow it down you know conserve energy make it set you can stand our water longer i would encourage that i would also greatly reduce the speed underwater because these things can zip underwater they are going way too fast underwater i would say leave the surface speed run the same but i would cut i would make it so you're only going maybe three quarter throttle maybe even half throttle underwater because think about it, you're battling more resistance you're going to have more resistance to counter when you're underwater because more of your ship is being hit by water water is more dense than air so it's going to provide more more pushback the next thing that I would change while they're underwater is have it set hydro can see them you can still have it so you can drop to like max depth and nothing can hit you, depth charges can't hit you, whatever, but have it set when you're underwater and somebody's pinging their hydro, they can see you. Make it so you have to kind of rely on your team, rely on team play, and make it so you have to have a little bit of skill on how to avoid these guys. Yes, you can, you know, make it so that the depth charges don't hit them. I don't care. But make it so that they can hit you because I've literally been in like the mines above these guys pinging away and I can't see them. So that's above water and that's underwater. What would I change next? Next, I would give these guys a different set of torpedoes. First off, I would change how what their range is make them so that they're only like 8 10 kilometer range make them so you have to get close 13 14 kilometers especially at tier 6 is massive that's a huge range make them so that they're like 8 kilometers you can give them speed boost i don't care you can make them go faster i don't care but the fact that you can literally sit so far away and throw torps is nuts I would also make it so you can't do citadel damage. I don't care about damage in general. I care the fact that it's citadel damage. And I get that some people are, you know, in real life, they when the torp hit the battleships, they break the keel and I don't care. This is a game. Like, I'll admit, I'm one of those people that's on the fence where, but in real life, it's this. But in the game, it's this. But at the end of the day, we're in a game. And if you want to keep people in your game war gaming, which I assume you want to, since it's in your literal name, you need to make these things that people want to play them. And right now, people, including myself, don't want to play this game anymore because subs are so breaking. They are so game breaking to the way the game runs. I don't play my Massachusetts anymore. I don't play my Turpets anymore. I don't play the key. I bought the key and I'm almost tempted to, to contact Wargaming and say, hey, give me my money back. You know, if you guys are gonna have the subs be this broken, screw it, give me my money back. You know, it's in, it feels like, you know, again, they tried shoving a round peg into a square hole and they didn't consider everything like for something that's been in the works for four years there's a lot more work that has to be done on here especially for like even with the homing putting that on the research i'm with uh i think it's no zoop for you you can see i just got my second dev strike there four four citadel hits and my third kill i'm 
No, that's my third dev strike. I'm sorry. I'm watching this on this little teeny tiny little cutout from my recording software. The how this game it, it this is so game breaking and I've only played tier sixes. I can't imagine it's gonna get any better when it gets a tier eight and tier ten. I really can't. I'm gonna be doing a video about those in a little bit here, but I can't imagine that it's gonna get any better. I really can't. I just I wish Wargaming would wake up, smell smell the roses, and say, look, sometimes what we want to do, what we want to introduce to the game base is not what's best for the game base. So you can see right there, I got three more citadels in high caliber and another kill. And if I had enough time, I could have gotten this guy's kill. I could have gone after the CV and probably gotten a kill on him. I realize CVs are another protected class, so they're a little bit difficult to deal with, but I probably could have gotten the kill. Well, we're up. We're coming towards the end here. Unfortunately, I didn't get any, uh, any end screens. But there is the end of the game. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all enjoyed listening to my rant. Anyway, take care, stay safe, and I will see you all next time.